A Valley High School is battling COVID-19 tonight. 100 students from Cactus Shadows are now in quarantine after possible exposure to the virus. Team 12's Josh Sanders joins us live from the high school with the latest. Josh. Well, hey guys, Cactus Shadows had to postpone in-person instruction last month after not having enough teachers, several expressing concern over COVID-19 safety. Now the school is dealing with one of the largest student quarantines in the state. I don't like the idea that COVID could be spreading through our school at an alarming rate. 15 year old Amber Fergosa was concerned after hearing the news that 100 of her fellow Falcons are now in quarantine. District officials say six faculty or students tested positive for the virus. Those coming into contact with them also under quarantine. I have a family at home. I don't want them getting infected or anything just by me trying to go to school. Officials would not say the exact date of when students tested positive, only that their parents are notified the same day. The return to the classroom hasn't been easy for the Falcons. In September, school principal Tony Vining postponed ringing the bell for in-person instruction after several teachers expressed concern of returning too soon. A few of my teachers actually are substitutes right now for um, teachers that have left for their own safety. Officials say there are eight long term substitutes teaching and out of more than 1700 students, 273 are using online instruction. Something Amber says may be best for all Falcons if the virus continues to spread. I would consider going back online if it does get even worse. And the athletics department tells me that several varsity football players are in quarantine. They declined to say how many and their game this Friday has been canceled. Medical experts say if you've been exposed to COVID-19, you should quarantine for 14 days. We're in Cape Creek. Josh Sanders, 12 News.